G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Cloud Pages URL script function so that you can send your subscribers from your emails to your Cloud Pages in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So the Cloud Pages URL function in script allows you to render a specific query string for each subscriber when you render this link. What this allows you to do is to send encrypted information about your subscriber to that Cloud Page without your subscribers seeing it in plain text. This can be extremely useful, especially for use cases like your preference centers or unsubscribe pages, as it means that each subscriber gets a unique URL so that Cloud Page will know which subscriber clicked on that link. So let me show you how it works. Our first step is to create a target Cloud Page. So I've jumped over into my web studio and into Cloud Pages, and one of my collections, I'll now go and create a brand new landing page. I call this page Test Page. I'll go next, I'll just choose a blank template for now and go save. Now I need this page so I can use my Cloud Pages URL script function to render a page ID and generate this specific URL for this Cloud Page. Since my page loads, what I want to do is make sure I have some text on the page so it renders up for my subscriber. So I'll jump into my default design and I'll throw some HTML in and say hi there. I'll go done, save and publish, make sure it puts out my text. Hi there, looking good, and I'll publish that cloud page. That cloud page published, I can go back a step and go back into my collections. What I want to do is click on the little uh, cog here on my test page to get my cloud page ID. You can see that my cloud page ID is 53930, so I'll copy that number as I'll use that later on. My next step is to use an email to render up the Cloud Pages URL M script. So I've jumped into Content Builder and now I can go and create myself a brand new email message. I'll just make a simple message using template. I'll choose a nice blank page template. Go select. I'll call this one my Cloud Pages URL test. I'll go next to start making my email. So in this email, all I need is a simple message. So I might drop some HTML in. The first thing I'll do though is choose my data extension. So I'll make sure I choose new DE. I'll go in and choose my sendable data extension. I'll use my sample rows for today. I'll go OK. And what I'll do is I'll say hi. And I'll put the first name of that subscriber just like that. And say comma. And we'll do a new line. And then we'll say click here. If they click here, I want to put a link which will go to that cloud page. So what I have to do is I have to put in the cloud page ID in that script function. So I copy that cloud page ID earlier. I'll paste it down here to use in a second. I'll jump back to my cloud page URL documentation. If I scroll down, I can find some examples here. So you can see here an A tag, which contains the href and all the things that I need for this function. So what I might do is I might take all this nice information here, I'll take the entire thing in fact, all the way to the end and I'll copy that. I go into my email and paste it here. So here is my link. Now, I don't want to unsubscribe. I just want to click here. So I'll paste click here. There we go. And for my redirect, I don't need an alias and don't need my conversion tracking for now. So I'll remove those. What I want to look at is this function here, my redirect to and cloud pages URL. I need the redirect to function. So it renders the link correctly for marketing cloud for tracking purposes. Our cloud pages URL, we need to have our cloud page ID. We can check this out by our documentation. The first ordinal here is the page ID. Let me copy that earlier. So I've got my value here, which I'll cut and paste directly into that value. Perfect. So now let's jump in. I'll put my test as my subject line. Let's have a quick look and we can render up this email and see if the link works. So I've got my first record here, hi Blaze. I can click here and hopefully this is going to launch for us our cloud page. There it is there. Hi there. Perfect. So that's all good and well that I can send my subscribers from an email to the cloud page. Let's take a look at some of the more powerful functions of that cloud pages URL AMP script. If you remember back on the documentation, it does say that this method allows us to pass information as an encrypted query string so subscribers can't see it. Let's have a look at how that works. So if we jump back into our cloud page, what I can do is I can go into my text here, I can modify my HTML, I'll make a new line, and what I'll do is I'll use some of my personalization strings. So I'll say your subscriber key is, and then a value. 
This is my personalization string. I can scroll down and use my system attributes of subscriber key, just like that. So hi there, your subscriber key is a value. I'll go done and publish. Now when I publish this, it does not have a subscriber attached. So it says your subscriber key is, and it's blank. So I'll publish that for now. What's really cool is if I go back into my email, I've got my next subscriber here, I've got Astro ready to go. And what's cool is that when I click on Astro's URL here, you'll see that this page now contains a special URL attached to it, a query string parameter. So when I click this, it loads up my page and instead it's got Astro's subscriber key. There it is, ending in 7141D. You can double check that, 7141D, that's correct. That is Astro's primary key. That's his uh, subscriber key. Now what's really cool about this is the email hasn't changed, but I can now jump forward to our next subscriber. And I've got Einstein here. I can click on Einstein's link, which goes to the same page, and it's instead gonna have Einstein's subscriber key, 9498. That's right, 9498. I can go back to Astro and click his link. And again, I've got his link, 41D. 41D. So there's one more really cool function of the Cloud Pages URL, which allows you to send through a name value pair through to your Cloud Page. Let's have a look at how that works. You can see here that the ordinal two and three allows the name and value to be sent through an encrypted query string to the Cloud Page. So we jump back into our Content Builder, you can edit my email again. You can see here my first ordinal is my Cloud Page ID. I can add my next ordinal, which is the value's name. Let's call this one test. And next I need to give the value to send through. Let's go cam for now. I can now save this and I'll go back into my cloud page to make sure my cloud page can listen to that value. Previously I'd use the subscriber key, but now I have to go and listen for the additional value. So let's go and say test equals, and I want to bring in a value here. Now to do this, I have to actually send through the parameter, which has been sent through as a query string parameter to the cloud page. And I have to listen for it and get it with the request parameter function, this one here. So we go in, it says this parameter allows you to listen to values that are sent through from a post. Values that are posted through. Okay. So here's an example function at the request parameter and then the name of the value to send through. So let's copy that function. Go back into my cloud page and I'll say test is equal to percent percent equals request parameter equals percent percent. There we go. Now it wasn't called product ID. I'm pretty sure I called mine test. So if I leave it as that, I should now go done. I can try out that page. Now it's going to say that my subscriber key is blank, of course, and there's also no test value sent through. Yep, that's right. I'll go publish. But now if I go back into my email, I can see from my code there, I've got my test value sending through the value of cam. I'll go done and I'll go next. Now let's try it out. We'll go to Astro first. We'll click on Astro. And Astro value of course is hi Astro and test is cam. Perfect with Astro's ID. We'll jump back in and let's now have a look at Einstein. Click here. And of course Einstein with Einstein's value and again the value of cam. Perfect, it worked. Okay, so you probably won't send through static values though. You probably want to use the Cloud Pages URL function to send through dynamic values based on what that subscriber clicked. So let's give that a try. What I'll do, go back onto my link here. Let's make a few blank space new lines like that. And let's now do something like, do you like, next line. And let's use our Cloud Page link here and we'll go cats or dogs. We can send through your pref value to be cat or your pref value to be dog, just like that. So if the user gets this email and they click on cat, it'll send through the pref value of cat. If they click on the dog link, it'll send through the pref value of dog. Let's give that a try. I'll go done. And what I'll do is I'll go back into my cloud page and make sure we can listen for that pref. And you like, and then request parameter I'm listing for pref, just like that. Make sure I got that right, lowercase p for pref. Doesn't matter in AMP script, but I'd like to make sure it's all the same case. We'll publish our cloud page. And of course there's no preference by default, you like equals nothing. We'll go publish, success, perfect. Back into our email. 
I'll remove that first one there because you are going to say hi first name do you like cats or dogs next all right let's give it a try so Einstein do you like cats you like cats Einstein do you like dogs you like dogs perfect so as you can see the cloud pages URL script function is a really useful tool for you to send through data from your emails directly through to your cloud pages and I hope you've enjoyed this quick demonstration of how to use the Cloud Pages URL AmScript function. If you have, then please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give that video a like. And also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you are notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.